Hi, I'm Bill Mahoney. And I'm Mark Patton. And we're talking Thunderdome 35, a two-year celebration of the history of the Thunderdome and some of the great characters, players, and coaches who were involved. Today we're talking program builder, Jerry Pym. And I don't think any term could be used more aptly than to say program builder when you're talking about Jerry Pym and UCSB. It was really a coup to get Jerry. He was coaching at the University of Utah. I just beat UCLA in the NCAA tournament with the running Utes. And they really contacted Jerry just really to get an idea of what they had to do to start a, a, a really high class uh, college basketball program. And Jerry ended up taking the job. He loves Santa Barbara so much. I think what, what I recall most about Coach Pym, and we traveled for a lot of years with Coach, he was very single-minded. He was not going to be denied. He was going to build this program. It was going to take time. He was going to have to get the right people in it, but he was willing to do it. And he understood, he understood how to do that because he saw it done at the University of Utah. And he was so well-connected in the world of college coaches. We used to get some programs in here to play us here at the Thunderdome that you look back and say, how did we get North Carolina State or Texas to come to the Thunderdome and play us? Very first year, you got Guy Lewis, his buddy at the University of Houston, by Slamma Jamma. They'd, they'd been NCAA finalists the year before. He got him to come here at the Thunderdome. It was really the first big crowd I ever saw here at the Thunderdome in, in uh, the year 1983. Also, Coach Pym was renowned for being someone whose teams were fundamentally sound and, and would do things the right way and were well drilled. He was kind of, as if, if you can say it, he was kind of a coach's coach. Um, and, and he would have other coaches, George Raveling being one, who would literally come and watch his practice to see how it should be done. Um, Jerry Pym truly was a coach's coach. He was and very well respected, one of the top uh, coaches on some of the committees that they would have at the NCA. The thing I remember about him being a stickler for detail, if you went up for a layup off one foot, you were coming out of the game. Yeah, <laughs> unless you were a character heart of Brian Shaw. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> then that may change. And he, he, uh, he put together a great coaching staff that included Ben Howland, who was really one of the architects also of, of how UCSB emerged. But Jerry Pym led UCSB to five postseason tournaments over a six-year span, and that's unprecedented in school history. And really turned around a program that I think went nine straight seasons without a winning record, and at that time was tied for the, the longest streak of that kind in the nation. Yep, Jerry Pym, we're talking Thunderdome 35, the architect of the early great UCSB teams, the program builder, Jerry Pym. I'm Bill Mahoney, along with Mark Patton.